And guys, this video has a dubbing feature available, therefore, you can choose your language to better understand the subject of the video. Just click on the gear in the player, go to the audio track and choose your language. Have a good time! And guys, Rockstar Games is making a new update to its website that causes instability and leaves it offline for a few moments. And fans also discovered a possible pre-sale of GTA 6 on the website. Take a look! So guys, how are you? Set and play here again, guys. Over the past week, Rockstar Games has made some updates to its official website, which raised suspicions within the community that they were preparing for the pre-sale of GTA 6. And a new code found in the website source may indicate that this pre-sale is coming as soon as possible. So, are you curious to understand this information better? So stay tuned here in today's video and I'll be commenting on all the details for you. But first, don't forget to leave a like to strengthen it. And by clicking the sign up button below, it's free. And activate the bell with all notifications so you don't miss our new GTA 6 videos and much more. And good, guys, it's not just today that Rockstar Games has been making changes to its official website, which isn't absurd, but it's not something they tend to do that often, which made the community suspect that Rockstar Games is increasingly preparing itself for the marketing of GTA 6. As I already mentioned a few videos ago, they had changed the layout of the site, highlighting the videos, more specifically the GTA 6 trailer, which was a website structure that wasn't available before. There were even other videos on the Rockstar website, but before they were not as prominent as they are now, in addition to having an exclusive page for videos, which makes the community believe that they are already preparing for the release of the second official trailer for GTA 6, which should be arriving by May. Furthermore, now on March 18th, many fans found it difficult to access the official Rockstar Games website, which remained offline for a few hours. In fact, when you accessed it through the mobile version, an error message appeared on the screen, while on the PC version, the site simply appeared all black, with just Rockstar Games R. I believe, guys, that the closer it gets to the launch of GTA 6, Rockstar Games will prepare an even more optimized version of the site, even to handle the amount of access they will have when the game is released, you know? I imagine that now, with the release of the first trailer for GTA 6, they have more or less an idea of how much of the public will be following their website and social networks, trying to buy the game, looking for official information. And so, it's worth mentioning, you know? that the official trailer for GTA 6 is already reaching almost 200 million views in around 3 months of its release. So, just imagine how many people won't be accessing it when the game is actually released or available for purchase. So these instabilities that the site has been facing, I don't believe it's due to the number of hits, I imagine that it already has a very robust structure. But without a doubt they must already be preparing something for the launch of GTA 6, such as changing the layout of the website, which they usually do when a new game is launched, even preparing its marketplace structure precisely to make the game available for purchase on its official website. And speaking of purchasing GTA 6, fans identified, after these updates, a new line of code that could reveal GTA 6 pre-orders. Simply, by inspecting the elements, the guys managed to find a code that revealed a marketplace system within the Rockstar Games website, where there were purchase schedules, I was even able to check this code guys, and in fact there is purchase information there, as if it were actually a store available within the Rockstar Games website, and many people believe it, you know? that this system is precisely to receive pre-orders for GTA 6, which should be arriving this year, you know? I imagine that by the end of the year, if the game is really going to be released in early 2025, this pre-sale should already be available. And this information received strong discussion within the Rockstar Games community, mainly on the GDI forums and the Reddit forum, where many people started to share this information. And many fans also tried to see if they could find this code and several images were shared on the forums. And so, some point out that this site structure is a Rockstar game standard and this structure already existed before, but guys, until then no one had taken note. And many people started to share this information and notice this new structure based on these website updates that Rockstar Games has been making. In any case, guys, I'm going to be very aware that depending on any news, I'll always be analyzing the news to bring it to you. For now there is no confirmation that this code is in fact from the pre-sale of GTA 6, but it is at least intriguing that no one noticed this structure before and it appears now after Rockstar Games updated its website. In any case, considering that GTA 6 is coming in about a year, it is quite possible that the sooner Rockstar Games starts to structure its entire official website, a new layout, or even changing that image at the top of Rockstar North there in Edinburgh. Surely they will soon be preparing for this, also changing Twitter's identity, you know? Putting with the characteristics of GTA 6, and the sooner this pre-sale will be available to us, because, right guys? 
they usually launch pre-orders for games about 3 to 4 months in advance. So if it really comes out at the beginning of 2025, by the end of this year we will have pre-orders for GTA 6 available to everyone. But so, have you seen this fan-made artwork with all the protagonists of GTA? Well, guys, this image is so iconic that surely the vast majority of people watching this video will have already seen it around, even though you never went back and researched it. And interestingly, guys, this image was created by artist Patrick Brown, who is a fan of Rockstar Games and an accomplished illustrator. And this image was published by him shortly after the first trailer for GTA 5 came out, which became a worldwide phenomenon. And it's obvious that he managed to put all the protagonists of the GTAs in this image, guys. You can even see Tommy Versetti lying down, CJ flying with a jetpack, Luis Lopez, Johnny Klebitz, among many others, you know? There's even Miko Bellic playing GTA 5, very crazy man. This artwork is very cool. And this image is so iconic that many people didn't even realize that it wasn't made by Rockstar Games, you know? It's fan-made artwork. But nowadays, I think it's practically an official image of GTA. And so, guys, he's making new, updated versions of this artwork, now with all the protagonists, including Franklin and Trevor, you know, who doesn't appear in this artwork, just Michael, and also with the protagonists of GTA 6, you know, Lucia and Jason. He already made a first version that has already been published, you know. It was even shared by Ned Luke, and it's basically a scene of Jason and Lucia inside a really crazy convertible car. I believe it's a completely restyled Obey 9F, as well as Trevor's car, you know. With the protagonists inside, there's even Chop, Nico Bellic jumping with a parachute, very crazy, without a doubt high level art, rockstar game style. And he also published on his social networks a sketch of the new artwork he is creating, a little more complete with all the actual protagonists of GTA. Not just the protagonists, you know, but also some secondary characters from games like GTA China Wars, Vice City Stories, Liberty City Stories, among others. So you can see that it is a very top artwork from the people on the beach. On that beach that appears in the trailer, you know, you can even see an oppressor that the guy is thinking about drawing. There's Lucia and Jason sitting on the sand. There's Chop wanting to rip off a woman's bikini. I imagine it's that blonde on the cover of GTA 5. There's Trevor arguing with Nico Bellic, who I believe is defending the integrity of Johnny Klebitz, who is in the back scared. Oh, and of course, you can't forget CJ also flying with the jetpack, already aiming with the cool SMG, right guys? This art really turned out great and it's not even finished. But, are there any other favorite GTA characters that appear in this artwork that I forgot to mention? So comment below to let me know and let's exchange ideas about it. So, what did you think of these news? Are GTA 6 pre-orders coming to the Rockstar website? Comment your opinion below, as it is much more than important. And if you like the content of this video, don't forget to leave a like to strengthen it. This really supports our work and it shows YouTube that you are interacting with the channel. So whenever there is a new video, YouTube will notify you. And guys, more than 40% of the people who watch the videos are not subscribed, bro, so don't hesitate, click the subscribe button below, which is free, and activate the bell with all notifications so you don't miss our new videos. And hey, channel members have access to the video before anyone else, their name appears on the screen, access to gifts, exclusive stickers, and much more. Do you want to guarantee all these benefits? So click on the become a member button below and join the Sad and Play Mafia too, or use the super thanks button. From one Brazilian real you can support our work and leave your personalized message for everyone to see. And guys, go to our social networks, there I always post everything firsthand for you and you can send suggestions from new videos like this one. And turns out there, no, choose one of these videos from a Sad and Play channel, which only has videos here for you, and continue following us. Oh, there's a special video with 100 interesting facts about GTA 6 for you to check out. This video is very special. I recommend you click and continue following the Sad and Play channel. And that's it guys, thank you very much for your love and I hope you enjoyed another video on the channel. We're together, that hug and goodbye.